Hello, Dr. Noob here again. So today I have two things I want to show you, something like a preparation. It's uh, not a beginner-friendly tutorial in the sense that I tell you everything, how to set up Unity or how to log into Unity, how to buy assets or stuff like that. I will just tell you and to download which version and to download which asset and also um, the same with github so i will not tell you how to log in to github just show you what you can do with an existing project that you want to add to github so let's go right in so what you see here is the newest unity hub version that i downloaded as well as under installs, you can see that I installed the 2021 33F1 long term support. Uh, if you don't have that, you should go here to the install editor and uh, click on those LTS. Well, either one of them should be fine, but I personally want to try the 2021 one. So once you have that, you go to projects and create a new project. And now here there are different approaches how you can do this. But uh, in my case, I personally prefer to go to the 2D one because it already downloads things like tile maps and um, other 2D things that I need. You could also just do 3D and then download the packages by hand later when you need them. Well, I like it that way. Now I let me go and I go here to games, select folder and here I will add Metroidvania tutorial and now I can create the project. That will take some time, so I will edit that. Great, so now we have our screen here. So the first thing to do is obviously going to the window and to the package manager and get here under my assets, the Corgi engine. Here under the Corgi engine you can see when the latest version was. Uh, if you don't have the latest version he will suggest you here to download it. Uh, I have already downloaded it so he asked me if I want to re-download it. Well, I don't need to. Uh, so I can click on import. So he asks me here if I want to switch a project or if I want to import it to the existing one. Because there are some changes in the project settings, um, he's asking that. But because this is a new project, I just click on import and install upgrade. So once you have that downloaded, you can actually choose which packages or well, which part of the package you really want to import. I definitely want to import everything. Great, now we have the Corgi engine downloaded. If we open it, you will see that we have uh, different folders in here. The one is the commons folder. Uh, in where you can find actually the most things or the most scripts that are used by the Corgi engine. Uh, on the demos, a very important one, is where you can find every demo that the More Mountain people have um, provided, which is uh, very good as a reference. And uh, third party is um, more scripts like the inventory engine or the mm tools or the mm feedbacks which comes uh, for free when you have the corgi engine so that's nice the second part of this video is dedicated to github so you will see a lot of tutorials on how you can use github and unity together uh, but i have not seen often the ones that are really 
putting an already existing code into GitHub. It's actually very easy. Um, if you are interested in using GitHub, which is a repository where you can check in your code, which means it's not only local in your machine, if your machine fails or if you need to work with other people, it's very handy if you have GitHub. So you can sign up and then you have your own account. The second thing that I suggest if you <clears throat> are using Windows, I'm not sure if there is for Mac, I think there is for Mac. Uh, you can also, oh, sorry, um, go to desktopgithub.com. In here, you can download the software, which is the GitHub desktop. That um, is a little application which helps you to um, manage your repositories. Now let's show you how to do that. Okay, so what we would like to do now is to check in all this code that we have here into uh, GitHub. So we have downloaded the Corgi engine, we have some scenes and we should maybe add some other things. Let's say I would like to add, create a new folder, which is called uh, art, in where I will put all the art of Lugwall. Let me do that shortly. Okay, so as you see, I have here under Lugual art, I have put his uh, sprites for the enemy player and tile sets. And uh, now we can start and think about putting that into GitHub. Um, so first things first, I have not found a really good uh, tutorial on how you can add an existing project into Git. It always involves uh, moving files around or maybe even uh, start from scratch. And in this case, I would really like to show the people who have maybe already worked one, two weeks, or I don't know how long on a project and need to um, check that in into GitHub. So here is my instruction and some thoughts about it. Very well, so the first thing to do is to go to the GitHub desktop and I hope that you have um, already signed in in here and set everything up as, well, there are a lot of tutorials to show you that. I will only show you the things that you don't find. So anyhow, in here I go and add a repository. So you can create a new, repo a new repository. Um, the important thing in here or the trick is when you go in, in here where your uh, game is, you see that under Metroidvania tutorial there are already all the files. If you choose this folder, then sadly he will create under this folder another folder which is called whatever you name it. So the trick here is just to go one down and write exactly the same name here as your repository name. So you see, he will go to C games and he will create a subfolder called, well, Metroidvania tutorial, which also is already existing. So there is no problem with it. And uh, then you can initialize this repository with readme and you can choose the git ignore from Unity. So uh, the git ignore is a file that will be used to say which files or folders he should ignore. So it doesn't make sense that you put, I don't know, two gigs of data of Unity, which you don't really need and um, that you can download or upgrade later. So there is already a template which is really good enough. So this is the one that you want to take. Now we would need to be quick because when we create here the repository, then, uh, well, he will ask if we want the git line feed um, encoding, which you want to. And you go now to Metroidvania tutorial and you see here the ignore file and just try to open it with notepad plus plus. And in here you see whatever 
um, folders and files that will be ignored. Okay, let me explain that further. Um, at the moment, you see we have 8517 files which he wants to put into the Git repository. And you should, before you commit really this 8500 something files, you should be really sure if they are needed because the space is limited. Well, if it's your only project, you have a little bit more space than I have, but what I want to say is you don't want to put everything in there. Try to be wise with it. There are two things I would really like to uh, mention here. First one, if it's your project, then you should check in the Corgi engine. If it's a private project that you will work on, no problem. If you are putting that public or even um, making that um, available to other persons, so collaboration or something like that, you should be a little bit fair and not check in the Corgi engine because the Corgi engine is a product that you buy in the asset store. So try to not make this error because else everything, everybody can just download the Corgi engine. So that's why I would like to go in here and let's say ignore some files. So we have here the library temp and so on. Let's go to So if you go in here, then you see we have here assets. So the library will be ignored. The temp will be ignored, the build and so on. All the, those things will be ignored. What you can now do in here is you can, you know that yours are in assets and here you have the Corgi engine. Because this is a private project, I would only like to exclude this demos folder. So here is the path. So what I will do in here is I will go in there and put assets and then Corgi engine and demos, right. If I save that and go back to my GitHub, then you see we have now at least 3000 less than before. And so this is how you can steer and make it better. Um, I would say for the moment it's good enough for me and I will commit now to the main branch. I'm not doing branching for myself and I will publish the repository. And now I can put some better uh, description. So tutorial series for Vania in Corgi Engine. And the code is private. So I publish the repository. Yeah. That's actually it. It will now upload all those files and then you can always work with this GitHub. So when everything, when anything you do, any changes that you do, you can just go in here and commit and publish. You will definitely see that a few times. Um, very well, I think that's it for this preparation. Uh, I hope you are well and see you next time. Cheers.